Once we have an understanding of the breakdown at the very, very small level of how energy is actually created, you get a better understanding of how your body burns fat, how your body builds muscle, and how your mind works at the absolute top performance that you want it to. Today, we're gonna to talk about how a little something known as coenzyme Q10 affects your body, affects your cells, and affects your mitochondria. Hey, if you like science and you like learning about the body, I wanna make sure that you hit that subscribe button so you never miss a beat with this channel. And if you're already a subscriber, please hit that little bell so you can turn on notifications to know whenever I post a new video. So coenzyme Q10, honestly, you can't walk into a supermarket these days without seeing it in the supplement section or the simple vitamin section. Everyone is starting to talk about it and it's gaining some popularity because people are starting to understand the power of it. So I wanted to do this video to give you an overall breakdown. And I know some of this is gonna be a little complex, but please stick with me through the end of this video because I promise everything will make a lot of sense. So first off, coenzyme Q10 is also known as ubiquinone. Okay, what it is, is a cofactor or a coenzyme that allows the conversion of food to energy to actually occur. And coenzyme Q10 is present in what is called the mitochondria. And if you've watched my other videos before, you know I talk about the mitochondria a lot. The mitochondria is the energy powerhouse inside of a cell. It's literally the motor. It's where everything happens. And without coenzyme Q10, we're never able to take the food that we eat, the proteins, the fats, and the carbohydrates, and convert it into what is called ATP, adenosine triphosphate. Okay, that is what gives us the energy for our muscles to contract, for our brain to work, and for every single cell in our body to have energy. Now, usually coenzyme Q10 is found within the heart, the liver, the kidneys, and the pancreas, but it's also found in smaller amounts throughout the rest of the body, including our muscle tissue. So for those of you that work out or are trying to get in shape, you might find that coenzyme Q10 is very, very important to not only your performance, but also your recovery and your overall fat loss and muscle building. So once coenzyme Q10 goes from being ubiquinone, where it actually starts using the nutrients that you consume to convert them into energy, it turns into something known as ubiquinol. So it slightly changes. Now the funny thing is, it's called ubiquinol because of its ubiquitous properties. Coenzyme Q10 does a lot of different things in the body. It doesn't just help energy processing and conversion, it also has powerful antioxidant components, and I'll get to those in just a second. So you might be wondering, why should someone take coenzyme Q10, or why should they be aware of it? Well, the fact is, after age 25 or 30, we start to lose our levels of coenzyme Q10. Our mitochondria starts to become less efficient. And when you understand how powerful the mitochondria is when it comes down to creating energy, you understand how important CoQ10 is. So it's not just age-related decline, though. A lot of times we'll see any kind of nutritional deficiency, generally speaking, things like B vitamin deficiencies. But also, if you have any kind of disease state within the body that might affect neurological function and might actually affect the electron function within your body. But one that might be applicable to you is if you're working out or you're moving a lot, you could actually have a tissue depletion of coenzyme Q10. And again, it'll all make sense in a second, but it comes down to how much your body has to use that CoQ10 to recover or generate energy. It only has so much and it starts to decline and you can only replenish it at so fast of a rate. So when you understand that your body's using this coenzyme Q10 for energy, again, it all makes sense. So let's talk about how it works for a second. You see, you have inside your mitochondria an inner membrane and an outer membrane. So inside the inner membrane is really where the power happens, okay, literally, where we actually create the ATP. So a lot of times when we consume proteins, fats, and carbs, they get inside the outer membrane, but they don't get inside the inner membrane without the help of coenzyme Q10. So what coenzyme Q10 does first is it allows the fatty acids and allows the glucose from the food that we've consumed to actually be accepted by the mitochondria. So it's sort of a gatekeeper. Without the coenzyme Q10, those nutrients can't get in and ever get converted to energy. But what's even more powerful is how it creates a gradient. Now let me talk about this from an electron side of things. Whenever we have energy occurring within the body, we're taking food and we're converting it into energy, which means there's an electron process. Our bodies are finely tuned electrical machines. When it comes down to minerals, when it comes down to everything, we're electrical. So when we look at the process of creating adenosine triphosphate energy from food, we have to look at the electricity side of it. So in order for food to get into the mitochondria, we have to have an electron transfer. And what happens is the electron transfer creates a proton transfer. So that means you have protons that transfer from outside of the inner membrane to the inside of the inner membrane. And it's literally the movement of these protons, the movement of this electricity that creates what is called a gradient. So it's literally the movement of this electricity, the movement of these protons that creates what is called a gradient. So you have energy from movement. 
Remember back in early physics and early chemistry, we were always talking about potential energy and kinetic energy? Well, when you look at how a proton moves, it creates kinetic energy. And this creates a proton gradient, which literally creates energy. And that allows the actual conversion of true energy that we've consumed into energy that is adenosine triphosphate, energy that we burn when we flex our muscles, when we work out, or when we're just using our brain, or even just standing still. So that is how important coenzyme Q10. It is the absolute maestro of the electrical orchestra. But it goes further than that. Coenzyme Q10 has an exceptional ability to act as a lipid peroxidation preventing antioxidant. What does that mean? Well, we hear about antioxidants all the time. They're usually fruits and vegetables and things like that. And those neutralize water-based free radicals. So those will be antioxidants that are water-soluble. It's not very often that we get fat-soluble antioxidants. You see, what happens within our body is we have what are called free radicals. And all free radicals are, are oxygens that have broken off the beaten path and are totally rogue. So if you think of a free radical, like literally break it down to the terms, a person that maybe is totally free and radical, they're outside of the norm, they're outside of the circle, they're in their own little world. Well, that's the way that this oxygen is that is considered a free radical. And what has to happen is it has to be paired with an electron in order to chill it out, in order to neutralize. Otherwise, it bounces around throughout the body, reacting with cells and causing damage. Oxidative damage, oxidative stress. You get what I'm saying here? So coenzyme Q10 has the ability to neutralize that and actually stop that oxygen from going crazy. But it does so in a fat-soluble way, meaning it stops fats from going bad. So whenever we consume food, we're exposing our cells to oxidative damage. In this case, we allow that oxidative damage to either be reversed or never happen in the first place. So coenzyme Q10 is super powerful for creating the energy, but also making sure that we don't have oxidative damage that occurs because of that energy creation. Now, for those of you that work out and those of you that are looking to get in shape, there's an interesting study that was published in the Journal of Muscle and Nerve. And what it took a look at was subjects that consumed 1,200 milligrams of coenzyme Q10 that worked out on a regular basis. Well, believe it or not, they saw a huge, huge improvement in recovery, tissue recovery, but also overall performance than those that didn't take coenzyme Q10. So it shows that we are reducing at least some of our coenzyme Q10 whenever we're taxing our bodies and taxing our tissues. So at the end of the day, just be aware of it. So now you have a little bit more of an understanding of what happens inside the electrical system, inside the cells, and inside that little motor called the mitochondria that are in our bodies. I'll see you in the next video.